What's up? So today oh, we're gonna no. teach Paige how to ride the motorcycle. It's just a 400, so hopefully she doesn't drop it. It's not gonna kill her, but I hope she doesn't kill it. She's never ridden it before. She's moved it, but she's never actually like rode it or shifted gears on it. So we're gonna try to teach her how to do that today. My hair's probably a mess. <laughs> we have a little bit of daylight left, so we're gonna try to run her through it while also filming. I'm gonna set my helmet over here. If she does this good, she's gonna buy my bike and I'm gonna upgrade, so. To ride this bike. Oh, she, she can legally ride this. She has her permit, and I am a endorsed rider, so she can legally ride with me. Hop on it. Uh, so the problem is she's too short. So I she like tip tiptoes, like the very tip of her toes. So all right, throw the kickstand up because you can't go anywhere with the kickstand down. There you go. All right, running through it. So you gonna pull the clutch. Well, I know that. You gonna put it in first gear? Oh no. <laughs> I'm gonna let you do it. I don't like you recording me. Put, put your weight on your other foot. Cause you wanna be able to stand flat footed on one foot. Yeah, so that you hold all the weight on this one foot. All right, get your foot in the spot. Down is but one. At least I'm holding it up mostly straight on a flat foot. That's good. If, if it works out, we'll probably end up lowering it a little bit, at least an inch for it. All right, so put it into first. All right, now you're in first gear. Now put your toes underneath it. That way you're ready to shift up. So slowly let off the clutch, slowly let off until you feel it start to move. I'm scared. <laughs> no, you're fine. Just slowly let off. There's going to be a, a spot where your the bike starts to move and just hold it there until you're comfortable. And then you can let off slowly all the way. Eventually you'll be able to just let off the clutch completely. You can keep that other foot, keep the bike lean that way and you can keep the other foot kind of like walking, just like, like a skateboard. You want to do it with both your feet on the ground while letting go of that? That way, if it leans this way, your foot's already there. That's fine. Yeah, do that for now. All right, let off the clutch a little. Just slowly. So when I want to stop, should I just grab the front brake? Cause like I don't have a foot on brake right now. Yeah, no, you're not going fast. You can just grab the front brake, but grab the clutch too. Don't stop without holding the clutch. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, now slowly let off. You'll eventually be able to let go of this completely cause you'll have enough forward momentum. You'll be able to just let go. And then you can slowly start to engage the throttle. Just, just lightly. I just don't know when to pick my feet up. When you have enough momentum to balance yourself with your speed, you can keep your feet off the whole time, but get enough speed so that the bike balances on its own. I know I can ride it. It's my feet I'm worried about. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to make your legs longer? Yeah. Because I don't want to drop the bike. What do you want me to do? I don't know. Give me the answer and I'll help you out. <laughs> I don't know. I'll walk, I'll walk with you. I just don't want to be wobbled. You, know? you won't. I'll walk with you. Let off the clutch. Slowly start to move forward. Slowly let off even more. The bike will take... I have, the bike has me right now. Huh? The bike just has me, like I don't have my feet on. Oh. I'm scared too. Put in neutral, hop off. So when you're, when you're on it, in the first, slowly let off the clutch. And then with this bike, once you're all the way off, it can do all the work for you. It'll keep you balanced. Really ease into it, because if you don't ease into it, and you just like start to go, it's gonna, it's gonna <laughs> take you. So like, really gently and then if you're gonna slow down make sure you pull the clutch and slow down but you already know that. and also when you put it in first once you get into that friction zone you can hit the gas hard there and slowly move into it but if you're if you're completely off the clutch and you hit the gas it's gonna take you but if you're in that friction zone where you're riding slightly forward you can hit the gas a lot and it's not gonna take you very far because you're not like fully engaged does that make sense yeah so like if you're here, you can hit the gas and you're not going to go far, but it is going to start to pull you. And then you slowly like, you'll get the feel of it. If you slowly do like each thing at the same time. Put all your weight on this side. I want you to feel the weight of the bike. No, I don't want you to drop it. <laughs> I'm not going to drop my own bike. <laughs> all right, put some weight on it. I want you to feel how heavy this thing is. I'm flat foot. All right, I just need to know that if it starts to fall, you can pull it back up. I think so. <laughs> it carries its own weight. As soon as you start going, you don't even have to try to balance. So why the turn I take? You can take the whole thing. You don't need to do a sharp turn. And you'll be fine? And you'll, you'll be fine, yeah. And, and if, if worse comes to worse, pull the clutch and the brake and just lock them up. Put your feet on the ground. And I want to put them on. No, don't worry about it. You, you'll know. You'll know as soon as the bike gets your balance. Get a little, let go of the clutch a little more. Look, you just rode across the whole entire country on that thing. <laughs> Alright, now come to a safe stop. Oh, 
That was good. Now we're gonna try to touch the gas. So do the same thing. I would go up this strip. I wouldn't even ride in circles. That's too much to think about. I would do your circle to turn around and then start going up the strip. Then you can get a feel for the gas. Put yourself in neutral. All right, let me see this. That's what you want. It doesn't even look like it moved, did it? Less than that even. Perfect, just like that. Just like that. All right, get your circle and then I'll follow you up this way. Look at how cute she is. What? What'd you say? In a circle. No. There you go. That's, that's a perfect way to start. All right, try to get off the clutch fully. Just slowly pull on the gas. Now, she doesn't know, as soon as you let off, it's gonna start to slow you down. So if you wanna avoid that, just pull the clutch as you let off the gas. You'll like gradually slow down instead of like a bike slowing you down. If you're starting to like gas it with this bike, as soon as you let off the gas, it's gonna start to slow you down. If you don't want it to do that and you speed up, just pull the clutch. Let off the gas and pull the clutch at the same time. Like, did you see the jerking? Yeah. Like if you're going, you're going without the clutch held in. So if you want to like maintain that speed, let off the gas and pull the clutch at the same time and you'll coast at that speed. Because oh, if you just let off the gas, it will it wants to slow you down. So you can slowly give it gas now if you want. And then, and well, yeah, you can. You can do it while you're on the clutch. Jay needs to be tensioned too. I just got the bike recently, so I haven't yet tensioned it and I've already put 2,000 miles on it. So I gotta do that like this week. Um, I think we'll also invest in some frame sliders. That way she can drop the bike and it'll be fine. I have more faith in myself. She can better. She's doing actually better than I thought. A little more scared than I thought she was gonna be, but definitely doing better than I thought. She's, she's doing pretty good. So. We'll get her to shift gears. It can be very easy to get your foot caught up in that spot and not be able to get to the ground fast enough if you're worried about like shifting gears and whatnot. Let's see if she wants to learn to put it into second. So the thing about like shifting gears is she can shift up as high as she wants and she doesn't have to worry about downshifting. All she has to do is come to a stop with the, hold it while holding the clutch, and then she can drop it back down into the first gear. So I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get her to shift gears right now. She don't want to listen to me. We'll we'll get back to you when she when she makes it back here. What's a comfortable spot for shift? As in, as in RPMs? Yeah. Just try to be above three thousand. Any anywhere above that's fine. You'll probably feel less of a kick on the gas when you're in second gear. So on the gas, pull the clutch, but off the gas, shift, put the gas. That's what I would do, just so you kind of understand the concept a little better. So it's kind of weird to explain. You don't have to be at those higher RPMs. You just have to be up at a higher speed. So I would, I would get it up to like 10 miles an hour. I would get it up to 10 miles an hour, pull the clutch in, obviously kick up to yeah. shift into second. And then once you go around, don't worry about downshifting. Once you come to a stop, pull the clutch in, and then you come to a stop and then kick it back into first. All right, I'll just go up and turn around and then I'll kick it when I go this way. Okay, it's a 2020 Kawasaki Ninja 400. It's, it's an awesome bike to learn on. With that size, she's not gonna touch the gas and get thrown off the back end of it. And then it's not super heavy bike for, I think it's only like 350 pounds, 360, something like that. Um, so real light. Shift to third. So now she's just gonna pull the clutch, come to a complete stop, and then reset the gears. But coming off the line, like I was saying, is one of the harder things to do without like stalling the bike. With this bike, it's super easy because the bike pulls you and you can do, you can get off the line, start moving, and completely let go of the clutch without even touching the gas. With this, you have to figure out per bike, but with this bike, um, it has a six speed transmission, so you have one down, five up. Basically, you can drop it down into first if you're anywhere under like 20 miles an hour. 
So it's a, it's the gears are really long. Second gear is really safe too. You can drop into that literally whenever, and then I have to worry about the RPMs being way too high. But yeah, with this bike off the line, some bikes you have to hit the gas a little bit more while you're in that friction zone with the clutch, which is where you like just start to slowly move. But then some bikes are too heavy that that won't pull you. Um, so you have to like hit the gas for it to even start to move you. That was my bad. What'd you do? <laughs> what gear did you get it in? Four. Yeah, they're really I'm long gears. Them yeah. Like, I'm not really jumping. No, the the it's a the bike is super easy to ride. And then right there you can. Oh. <laughs> I let off too quick. So that's what I was talking about earlier. So if you completely let off the clutch and you don't have enough RPMs going or oh, you don't have enough you do. speed, you stall it. You stall it. So if you stall it, just go back into neutral, start it again. Or you don't even have to go to neutral to start it again. You can just hold the clutch and keep it in first and start it again. Or we just pretend that never happened. Or we just pretend that never happened. <laughs> But I say we definitely need to lower it for like she can handle this, but stop and go traffic being on your toes like that would not be fun at all. This is her first day. I think she's doing pretty good. This is her first time doing more than like just moving the bike. She's going again. Um, if I should make a video on how to ride a motorcycle for beginners, or like for first time riders, let me know. Cause I can easily teach you how to bang through all the gears real quick and have you riding like you're not a beginner day one. So if you want me to make a video, um, click the like button. I can, and if you like motorcycle videos and want me to do more. Cause like bikes, bikes are my life. So if I can incorporate the motorcycles as well as the BMX stuff, that would be awesome. So if you want to see more motorcycle videos, also click the thumbs up button and I'll do some of that. Comment below if there's any other video ideas that you might have for me to do. I think she's having way too much fun. Yeah, anyways, so that's our day one and it's a pretty successful day one. We'll wait for her to get back to do the outro. Cool, cause it's got ABS, just like your, your car has the analog brake system. Keeps the wheels from spinning on you or locking up on you. It's, it's a really nice feature to have, especially if you're a beginner rider. It's a lot easier, it's a lot blah. It's a lot different when you're accelerating into turns and when you're slowing down and getting the bike sideways. Like it's, it's for the most part, pretty easy to shift through the gears, but that's not all there is to riding a bike. There, there's a lot more as far as like um, handling it and knowing what speed to go at, at certain turns and stuff like that. And that's stuff that you'll learn the more you ride. How was it? Good, thank you baby. Easy? Yeah. So she yeah, didn't drop was, it. That was super easy get the feel of the gears like automatically so did what you did and like instead of just like posting in the first like getting the gas and getting in the first it's a lot easier to do it that way yeah that's how you you'll do it anyways if you're going up a hill and you're like parked on it you have to hit the gas at the same time as letting off the clutch slowly so there's things like that so this is Paige's first day on the bike and i think she did pretty darn good um there's gonna be some things we're gonna do this we're definitely putting frame sliders on it definitely lowering it just just in case you never know and yeah, so thanks for watching. If you want more of these type of videos, click the like button and uh, subscribe so you don't miss out. We'll see you next time. Visit thehagerco.com. Oh, yeah, I'm not it's even... on my helmet. Oh, I'm repping okay. it. <laughs> it's it's oh. down. It's down. Not the Kawasaki. Don't fit. All right, I'm gonna get a video of her. Thanks for watching. We will see you next time. <laughs> oh, she stalled it. Oh, can't it. can't fool you. What do you mean? No, you didn't. I just watched you stall it. I just shut it off. In first gear? No, it's neutral. <laughs> yeah. I talk so good about her. I walk away for two seconds and she stalls it. I'm holding. I was holding. Ah, 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 yeah, I don't want to hear it. I'm going to break my bike. Ah.